Ha oh man, don't you like making videos about AI and like the next day your video is already obsolete? Well, that's kind of what happened to me yesterday. Because if you haven't watched my previous video yesterday about the new text to video AI tool, well, first go watch it. I mean, come on now. And second of all, in that video, I was telling how we are very far off to be able to create pretty good video generation using text to video AI. And in my head, I really thought that it would take months before we saw another tool that can do something like that better. And lo and behold, a few hours later, Runway releases their new trainer for Gen 2. Their brand new text to video AI. Wow, what a shocker. Welcome to AI News, everybody, where every single day is obsolete. And what's really crazy is that I also made a video about Gen 1. Sure, it was a long time ago, uh, around a week ago. That's right, I made a video about Gen 1, like exactly a week ago. Telling everybody that, oh guys, it's just the first generation, don't worry, it's gonna get better. You'll see, in a few months, you'll see. Well, we didn't have to wait for a few months because Gen 2 is literally already here. So in this video, how about we watch what they have to offer and also I will show you some very cool creations already made with that tool, already made with Gen 2, which are really, really impressive. And I'll also show you some videos made with the previous tool called Modelscope, videos made by the community that are very, very funny. All right, so let's go. Let's first watch the trailer and see what they have to offer. All right. Not too long ago, Runway pushed the boundaries of generative AI with Gen 1 a video-to-video -video model that allows you to use words and images to generate new videos out of existing ones. In the weeks since launching, the model has constantly gotten better. Better temporal consistency, better fidelity, better results. And as more and more people gained access, we unlocked entirely new use cases and displays of creativity. And today, we're excited to announce our biggest unlock yet text to video with Gen 2. Now you can generate a video with nothing but words. No driving video, no input image. Gen 2 represents yet another major research milestone and another monumental step forward for generative AI. With Gen 2, anyone, anywhere can suddenly realize entire worlds, animations, stories, anything you can imagine. Gen 2, coming very soon to RunwayML.com. All right, so there it is. Um, I, I gotta say, like, it, 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 is it looks very impressive. And I'm going to show you some of the example later on, generated with the Gen 2. Um, like, yeah, we're definitely way better. We have way better results than, you know, the videos that I showed you in my previous video um, using the model scope model. Um, this is like very, very, very impressive stuff. Like I also want you to understand like this is not video to video. Like these are videos that are generated from a simple text prompt. Like there is no base here. Like this is not a, a, a video that was like taken and then converted into something else with like a different style like we did in Gen 1. This is like a completely just a complete new video from just a simple text prompt. Like this is like this is really really impressive. And to go back to like Gen 1, this showed like the there is indeed like a difference in quality when the model launched and what we have right now. And the model launched like a, a month ago, maybe, maybe less. So in like a month, we go from this to this. Now, obviously, I personally didn't have a lot of good results, but I also saw some people having very, very good, you know, very good results. So they made some very cool creations using the Gen 1 model already. So I can only expect that Gen 2 will be like much, much better. Like just to be able to create like this kind of videos from scratch only like a month after like Gen 1 came out, like AI is just going so fast. It's really impressive. So here they show off a little bit of the results that they managed to have from a very simple prompt like aerial drone footage of a mountain range. And it gives you like a video like this, which is I mean, for, again, like, this is brand new tech. And to be able to get results like these is still, like, very impressive. Okay, so actually, now that I read the description, I may have made a little bit of a mistake before, because I think that not everything they show here is necessarily um, just simple text to video. I mean, it could be, uh, could be th that they're all uh, text to video, but 
if we go back, if we go down, uh, we see here that in Gen 2, they have multiple different modes. They have the first mode, which is the text to video, which basically creates like this video from just a simple text prompt. Like this is just like a late afternoon sun peeking through the window of a New York City loft. And it gives you like something like this, which is a I mean, it is more like a moving image than a real video, uh, but okay, fine. Um, but after that, they actually have a second mode called text plus image to video, where they actually show you how you can combine an image, an input image and a prompt together to create a new video. Now, again, technically it is still text to video more or less because it does create like kind of like this, um, um, this video from scratch. I mean, this is not taking like an, uh, an input video and then uh, converting it into like another style. It's almost like creating a video from scratch, but then applying the style of this input image, which actually in a way makes this even more impressive because that means that you may have a little bit more control over the final result. You can see that the guy here in the, the video is wearing more or less like the same clothing style as the guy in the picture. But at the same time, when you look at like the, 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 the style of the video, it is definitely taking a lot of inspiration from the prompt, which is like low angle shot of a man illuminated by the neon light of the bars around him. And then, I mean, this is exactly what we have right here. So, I mean, yeah, this is a, this uh, I think is a pretty good mix. Like just imagine in your head, all right, if you take this image, you know, and you apply this prompt, like try to imagine what kind of videos and what, what kind of image you can create just, in, just inside your mind. What kind of result do you expect? Well, in my head, we kind of have something that is very similar to this, because although in the prompt, uh, it never says, it never specifies that we are uh, in the dark, that this is the night, the fact that you put illuminated by the neon signs of the bars around him, the AI models understand that, well, to be able to be illuminated by the neon lights, the neon signs, you need them to be visible in the image, so since neon are only really visible in the night, I'm gonna create the scene only during the winter or during the night where neon lights are the most visible. So yeah, I mean, I, this is this is very impressive. This is actually a very good generation. And then you have the next new mode, mode three, image to video, which basically generates a video from a base image. So there is basically no prompt. This is just like an input image that you put in and the AI model understand that this is a city, this is a beach, and I'm just gonna create a video that is very similar to this one, but in an animated format. And indeed, we get exactly that. I mean, imagine this kind of tool inside the hands of a very artistic person. What kind of insane videos this kind of person will be able to create with the help of a tool like that? I mean, this is just... And this is amazing, because now that we can generate like new videos from scratch, I mean, the possibilities are really just unlimited. They're endless. So then, of course, you have like all the other modes that were already present in like Gen 1, which is like the normal video to video where you input a video and an image and you kind of transfer the style of an image to uh, the video. And we've already saw the results of what kind of, you know, what kind of results you can expect. Um, some are OK, some are good. But again, I feel like the tech is very, very new, is very young, and there is definitely a lot of improvement before we can really have something that we can, you know, use in a professional setting. And then, of course, you have like the storyboard, which is again like a video to video uh, feature. You have the mask mode, which is actually pretty interesting if it works well. Then the render mode where you can just like input a 3D video and, you know, create a, a, a different render using the tool. And then like mode 8, customization, be able to move a character using only your face. I haven't seen a lot of videos uh, be able to use this option as of right now, but maybe it will come later. Now, one thing that I really would like to, to know, uh, now I'm not sure this is gonna happen, but uh, as I said in my previous Gen 1 video, the limit of video creation is unfortunately very, very short. I think the limit was three seconds. And I was really expecting that uh, you could create like longer videos. Now, from what I see from the examples right here, um, these examples seem also very, very short. So I don't think that they've raised the limit yet. So I think that we're still limited by three seconds videos. 
that's that's kind of like a bummer. I really wish that we could make longer videos, but I also understand that this kind of, you know, generation takes a lot of power, maybe costs a lot of money, so maybe they have to limit to only three seconds to be able to afford to make the tool for free for the public. Uh, but I'm really hoping that in the near future we could make longer videos because otherwise, if you're always trying to stitch like three second videos, one after the other, after a while, it, it becomes very, very difficult to to use and to create something decent. Now, talking about decent, even though you can only create three second videos with the Gen 1 tool and the model scope model, there is actually a lot of good creation that were already made. So here's a bunch of examples, a bunch of other videos generated with Gen 2 by someone who apparently works at Runway. So yeah, she has probably all the scoops. So check it out because it's really, really impressive. Like this is really really cool, like this kind of castle, this kind of anime style, like everything here is generated from text, like this is really really cool. So like you don't need to like only generate images of super realistic backgrounds, super realistic videos, you can also generate like super creative, super stylized videos if you want to, which is something that was a little bit harder to do using the free model scope model, but is apparently something that you can do very easily using the Gen 2 model. So I'm really hoping, I'm really waiting to be able to generate this kind of images with the Gen 2 because, I mean, this is really cool. Because again, if you're able to use any style that you want, I mean, the amount of use cases increases rapidly. So here's again another video generated with Gen 2 that was posted by the actual co-founder of Runway. So let's check it out. And yeah, again, I mean, very impressive. I'm not sure if this is like t uh, text to video or a, a form of video to video because this seems like very, very precise. I mean, look at the face here. Is that really just video generated from text? Because if it is, that's, that's very impressive. I mean, to be able to get like faces like that, that are so precise inside a video and with coherence, almost no flickering. If everything you see here is just generated from a text prompt, yeah, I, I, I think that uh, maybe big studio movies like Hollywood, uh, they are probably sweating right now. Because if in a few years, you'll be able to generate these kind of like very precise videos, very precise movies, just from a simple text prompt. Um, yeah, I think the cinema, as we know today, will probably cease to exist. Because if one day we'll be able to create videos with the quality of Marvel movies, VFX artists and maybe even actors and a lot of people in the cinema industry might lose their jobs. Because yeah, this is very impressive, but also kind of scary. I mean, we'll see, we'll see. So here's another video generated with Gen 2 by also another co-founder of Runway, which again shows like kind of like the possibilities of this kind of tool um, to create maybe like short movies with only one single person very, very easily. I mean, if again, all of these are just video generated from prompt text, uh, yeah, this is really impressive. If even if you only can generate three second videos, if you put them all together and they have this kind of level of quality, um, yeah, you'll be able to make some pretty cool stuff all yourself. I mean, look at this, look at this. This is really impressive. Again, for like, I know it's called Gen 2, but in a way, this is like kind of like the first generation of this text to video tool. So in a way, it should also be called Gen 1. Since this is not exactly video to video, this is like a text to video tool. So again, I will put the link in the description for all of these videos, because again, they're very, very impressive. They're very, very cool. And the possibilities are just absolutely endless. And here's the final Gen 2 video. Uh, generated by another co-founder. I mean, it looks like every single co-founder of Runway has access to the tool right now and are playing with it right now. So I'm, I'm kind of jealous, not gonna lie. Uh, but hopefully soon we'll be able to have access to it and play with it ourselves. And again, if you want to watch these videos yourself or if you want to follow these people, I will put a link in the description down below. Now, although in this video we've talked a lot about Gen 2 and what kind of videos you can generate with that tool that is still not out, people right now are managing to create some pretty cool videos 
using the three models model that I showed you yesterday. So here's a small example of that, which is a short Batman movie made in only 30 minutes that I find actually pretty funny. I mean, this is... Yeah, this is very goofy, but... I mean, this is text to video. This is really cool. I mean, this kind of... I mean, look, look at this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you really have like... I mean, I think that the text to video is really like... Kind of like the next generation of entertainment based around AI. Because once this tool will be like more powerful and easier to use, I mean, we'll be able to create some very, very cool stuff. And finally, I'm going to finish this video by showing you this video, again, generated completely with AI, by username no gods love AI, that basically used ChatGPT to write a script for an AI video, used the model scump model to generate the video, and then voiced it using an AI tool. All of that to create a pretty funny and entertaining video. Take a look. This primitive world, Earth, what do they have that could possibly stand against the Empire? This giant supply station must be an advanced military outpost, the Wall of Mart. Ah, I see. They grow their warriors to immense proportions. Most impressive. Perhaps we should recruit these giants for our own army, or not. And look at these vast stockpiles of high-calorie sustenance. Surely they fuel their oversized defenders with these. I can't imagine the sugar rush they must experience on the battlefield. A whole section dedicated to miniature replicas of their heroes. How quaint. I wonder if they have a little me. Oh yes, they do. Complete with a tiny choking action. These domestic contraptions appear to be more advanced than I expected. <laughs> I mean, you, look, do you see what I mean? You see what, what kind of creation we can make, like right now? Like you don't, even, you don't even need to wait for Gen 2 to come out, you can do it right now just like this user did. I think this is a tool that will be very popular among meme creators. Like to be able to generate anything, any meme, in any situation that you want, without even going outside is just like... It, it, it's nuts, like it's bonkers, it's amazing. And again, like even if you are like bad at voicing a character yourself, these new AI voice tools are so good that you don't even need to use your own mic. You don't need to be able to speak English correctly, you don't need to have a good voice, you don't need to have a good mic. Every single tool that was used to create this video can be found and used online for free, from anywhere in the world. Oh, and by the way, since we're talking about the model Scott model, a little update is that you don't necessarily need now to use the Again Phase demo. You can actually use this now inside Google Colab. That's right, so now you don't need to wait in a queue for hours to be able to generate your video. You can do that inside a Google Colab doc. Again, I will put a link for this in the description down below. There is even a tutorial video. This is very easy to use, so yeah, if you have the time, definitely give it a try and make some very cool creations, at least while we wait for Gen 2 to release. And there we are, folks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you also to my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos. You guys are absolutely awesome. You people kindly support me so I can make these videos possible. So thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.